of Biotechnica. This is Caroline Green. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the smart research tools for all the PhD students. So I'm going to talk about some of the important tools that you need to know. We talked about academic research tools. Uh, we talked about many research tools. To add on to that point, we are going to have some discussions on how you can search some of the uh, research papers and how you can summarize it and how you can extract an image from the research paper and use it for your presentation and how you can create a site for your papers also. So first let's talk about search research papers. So some of the uh, apps I can, I'm going to tell you or the tools that I'm going to tell you. So the first is connected papers. So you can uh, actually download it or you can go to the web page. So this is the website connectedpage.com. When you go to the website, you will see a page like this. So I uh, explore connected papers in a visual graph. And if you're going to type in like suppose let's type in breast cancer and if you're going to click on to build a graph, you will get all the papers related to breast cancer in the form of a map or a graph. So based on this one, you can click on to whichever it is and then accordingly, what's your choice of paper, you can actually take a seed paper, which is your paper of priority. You can take this one. Since I've written only breast cancer, there are a lot of papers which talks about breast cancer. So many are here, starting from breast cancer treatment, a review, adjuvant and non-adjuvant therapy, systemic therapy, and there are so many papers. So what are the papers that are interconnected also is given over here. So you can make your research a bit easier. So the next important one is lit maps. So in lit maps, this is going to be the website. You can go to this website and you can check. And if you go to the lit maps, you will find discover the world of scientific literatures and you can type in for the keyword or for the author or date of index or uh, PubMed ID or anything here and you will get the research papers and the related papers and you can find out what is your seed paper, what is the paper of your priority and you can choose them accordingly also. So this is the second important tool that you can have it in your laptop or bookmark it. The next one is open knowledge map, an amazing one. So the website for this open knowledge map is openknowledgemaps.org and if you're going to open open knowledge maps, you're going to see a page like this. Uh, so PubMed, you can go and search through PubMed Life Sciences or base for all the discipline. And suppose let's go and type in for COVID-19 here and you will see a lot of papers about COVID-19 here. So suppose let's talk about 2019 novel coronavirus. And if you're going to click this page, you will find a lot of papers which are related to that. Suppose if you're going to click on infectious diseases, you will find how many papers are here. So it will show you how many papers are related. Suppose if you're talking about COVID-19, there are so many papers. But you wanted to make it a bit very, very easier for you means you can go and check in for pathology autopsy if you're looking for. Then it will show you the limited papers which are related to that topic only, which makes your research a bit very, very easier. So open knowledge map, definitely an amazing one. The next one is insightful. Insightful is also an amazing uh, tool, I can say tool to help you isolate your research. So you can just type in the same paper title. And if you want to check whether two papers are related or not, or what are the papers that are related, we might see, suppose if you're talking case of a breast cancer, um, somebody has done epidemiologies and other body wanted to talk about the therapy. And I just want to check whether these two papers are related and whether the papers, uh, they have used the same references also. So what you can do is you can put one paper uh, link here another paper link here and you can check whether these two papers are interconnected it will give you a graph of interconnected papers only so insightful will make your research very very easier and faster for you so searching a research paper you don't always have to go for PubMed instead you can go in for connected papers lit maps open knowledge maps insightful which makes your search a bit faster the next one is okay now we have known how to search a research paper suppose if I want to know what this research paper talks about so you can actually summarize a research paper it will give you a, um, a consolidated version of what the research topic is all about so this is the website genie.i g-e-n-e-i dot i-o and it will summarize your paper and it creates resources you can create notes you can create a folder and this is that one research faster with genie 
automatically summarizes what the background reading and produces all the articles and reports faster. Suppose if you're looking for breast cancer or if you wanted to look in for one of the uh, research papers and you cannot able to read the entire paper it will give you a summary of that paper which makes your reading of your research papers a bit faster so this is an amazing one but the one thing is uh, you have to pay after a certain period of trials so later you can do that also the next one is extracting image from the research papers. Yes, there's always one problem when you go in for presentation. Uh, we used to take images from the previous paper and we used to uh, show it in the form of a uh, source that it is taken from this research paper. At times, we would lose the clarity of the image that we take it from the research paper. For that sake, how, what you can do is you can use PDF candy. So this PDF candy, if you're going to use you can just add on to that file and it will convert into uh, a normal image or a very clarity image so that you can take that image and you, you can use it for your uh, presentations also like PDF folders, like PDF converters, we have the same way it is also. The next one is creating citations. Yes, cite this for me. Yes. So what is this? This is about how you can cite your paper. So this is the website. If anybody wanted to go in for this one, you can definitely go in for this. If you're going to go and type in this website, you will see a page like this. Create citation. Check your papers. Scan your papers for plagiarism. All are given here. So start a new citations or manage your existing projects. So here it, you can create a citation not only for your paper, but also for the website that you wanted to cite it also. So as a research student, if you know these searching tools and uh, reading a research paper a bit faster and extracting an image and creating a citation for your website or for your paper, then this is amazing and in previous videos we talked about something apart from this also you can watch it out and i've also talked about how to do a research or how to search a research paper very quickly and faster also so i believe that this video is helpful for all of you thank you all of you for joining i'm going to meet you back again with another video